care. Join us here for your prescription to better health. Hello, South Florida and beyond, and welcome to the How to Stay Healthy show, Friday edition. So actually last Friday in June. So I'm glad you can join us. As always, we take you on an adventure in um, healthcare and health cor- healthcare organizations across South Florida. So with, without further ado, I am going to introduce from John Knox Village, which is right around the corner. I know there's a Pompano Beach location, but he's going to tell us a little bit more. Mark Rayner, he's um, one of the directors there. Mark, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Pr- glad to be here. And we're, we're really glad to have you on, like I said, we can learn a little bit more about healthcare organizations. So tell us a little bit about John Knox Village and, and your um, role as um, one of the directors there, or if you're the main director. And um, I have a ton of questions to ask you after that about sure, the organization. Sure. Well, uh, David, we're actually celebrating our 50th year at John Knox Village in Pompano Beach. We are what's known as a life plan community. So someone at the age of 62 or over, they pay an entrance fee. It's really an insurance product, and they're paying for future health care in advance. They move in. They live in a villa or an apartment, one, two, three bedrooms, and they get the value of relationships and meals being prepared for them, and activities, and meeting other people, and socialization, uh, access to a nurse 24 hours a day. So they are still independent when they move into our community. They still drive. Uh, A few of them actually still work and are very involved in the community. We have a lot of school teachers, retired school teachers and veterans. But what they do in a life plan community is they're, they're planning for their future. So... Sometime in the future, whether it be five years, 10 years, 15 years, if they need additional levels of care, say assisted living, maybe mm-hmm. now they no longer can really prepare their meals or they need an assistance in taking a bath or a shower, um, reminders for their medications, they would go to our Gardens West, our assisted living, and then ultimately, if they needed what we call 24-hour skilled nursing in the industry, they would come to our beautiful New Woodlands community. So. We're 70 acres nestled in Pompano Beach on Atlantic Avenue at I-95, or one of the best-kept secrets. And we just celebrated our two-year anniversary of the Woodlands at John Knox Village. Can I talk a little bit about the Woodlands? Tell you about that? Yeah, definitely. Tell us. I'm just smiling because I know exactly where you're located now. I just drove by in my mind on Atlantic Avenue. I know where you are now. Yeah, we have that that large tower on I-95 with the clock on. Everybody (laughs) will actually get phone calls sometimes around the holidays. Hey, the clock is off by a couple minutes. So, But many times people don't really know who we are at John Mm -hmm. Knox Village. So one of the greatest things that we just added, we just celebrated our two-year anniversary of the opening of the Woodlands. And we actually are the first greenhouse model offering 24-hour skilled nursing level of care and rehab in the state of Florida. So what is the greenhouse model? So a gentleman by the name of Dr. Bill Thomas, about 15 years ago, he went into a skilled nursing center, and one of the elders reached up and grabbed his arm and said, Doctor, doctor, I'm lonely. Please help me. And he said, I don't have a magic pill for that. Loneliness helplessness and boredom are the plagues that our elders and many of them trapped in their homes suffer from so he came up with the eden alternative of how do we get our elders to be able to make more choices how do we care for them in a in a manner where we get to know them and get deep knowing so he and his wife created the greenhouse project celebrating 15 years this year started in tupelo mississippi and it was a little cottage with 10 private rooms surrounding a lovely hearth area, dining area, and kitchen. The concept continued on and grew. And one of the neat things about John Knox Village is we had decided about seven years ago it was time to replace our skilled healthcare building. Again, we're celebrating 50 years. The building was getting old. We're the only community in the nation where a group of our independent living residents, six of them, went out and did research. We knew we were going to build a brand new health center. They went out and they came back to us and said, guess what? We want a new building. We want private rooms. I don't want to have to have a roommate. I'm maybe not feeling well. I'm a, I want my own private room with my own private bathroom. Wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. So they came back and they came to administration, myself and our CEO and the board of directors, and said, we want to do the greenhouse project here at John Knox Village. 
one of the neat things is they put their money where their mouth is. They actually, all of our community uh, uh, residents in aggregate, raised over $6 million of their own funds in fundraising towards the project. Wow. So, so they had a buy-in right there. They, they truly did. They truly yeah. did. We had different committees obviously the decorating committee and quality of care and dining and and they have a voice and the type of meals that are served and the decor and all the amenities that we built into this seven-story wonderful building we have 12 independent homes uh, in other words they function independently um, all with 12 private rooms surrounding this dining hearth and kitchen area and it's just a wonderful concept um, we're full we're on a waiting list and the one neat thing is you don't have to live at John Knox Village to come to the Woodlands. Mm -hmm. How's that? You say it's part of a life plan community. How, would, how could I do that? So for someone that needs short-term rehabilitation, re rehabilitation, say they go to the hospital, they fall, they fracture the hip, they have surgery, they need some short-term rehab, they can come to us and stay in the Woodlands in a private room with a private bath, Meals made from scratch, no longer, you know, in a, in a bulk or coming down from a main kitchen. So it's pretty exciting what's going on, and, uh, and I'm proud to be a part of that. And that option to go there even for rehab is very important because um, you're going to want to, um, you know, be happy during your rehab experience. That's going to help you get better, you know, faster, maybe get back to your quality of life at home if, um, you know, you don't need to live at an organization for the time being. A couple things you said there. Uh, Tupelo, Mississippi, isn't that where Elvis was born too? I think I was just it, thinking it, of that. That's why I was. Been, uh, so been. that's where the greenhouse project started. When, yeah, and actually, Dr. Thomas is from Dr. upstate Thomas. New York, from Rochester. But that was the, they were willing to take that chance, and uh, we're glad that they did. And we continue to learn. The greenhouse project is now in over 31 states, but it's kind of shocking that that we are the the first, not only the first in the state of Florida, but to this date, we're still the only provider that does this greenhouse project, and it really has given us a competitive edge in the marketplace. Uh, from Miami to Port St. Lucie, everyone that needs short-term rehab is trying to come and stay with us, and, and that's a great thing. We've actually had several times where the rehab guests didn't want to go home. Now, that's not something typical you say, yeah, I want to yeah. get home, I want to get home. So. We have something called deep knowing. It's relationships that take place between our caregivers and whether it be our long-term elders that live there as, and it's part of their permanent home or somebody that comes in for short-term rehab. They may be only there for a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. but we find out what are their needs. Maybe they like, you know, chicken marsal is their favorite dinner. Guess what? We figure out a way to make that for them. Give them the choice. Put the choice in their hands. They get up when they want to get up. They have rehab when they want. And we do functional rehab right in the home. It's exciting. And uh, another thing you said a lot about um, staying healthy, especially at that age. We're talking like 62 and up. And then so that's kind of like the baby boomer population all the way up, you know, to octogenarians and, and the elderly. And you, you made some key points there. Uh, this greenhouse project uh, that Dr. Thomas came up with focuses on um, battling uh, loneliness, boredom, and keeps you know people busy and that's important for the brain for the heart for the whole system that's really important to living a longer and healthier life it really is and actually the the statistics say that uh, anyone that moves into a life plan retirement community they live on average seven years longer they have the companionship many times we will have husband and wives come in and then eventually if one passes away the remaining spouse has lots of friends and a support system that they can interact with. You say octogenarian. We actually, at John Knox Village, we have 20 of our residents that are centenarians over the oh, age wow. of 100. And one of our elders, she's going to turn 107 next week. We're going to have a big birthday party for her. That's pretty exciting. That's amazing. When I was a reporter for Sun Sentinel, I once interviewed a woman who was 112, and I was reading in the Sun Sentinel this <laughs> right. past week, give them a little shout-out, um, about a volunteer at Delray Medical Center right around the corner. He's 105 years old, Charles Carroll. I read the story every year. It comes out the same time. It came out a couple weeks ago. So pe people are living longer because, um, obviously, they're healthier, yeah. and they're, yeah. they're keeping active, and, you know, they're not lonely, and they're not bored, and... Um, I was looking at your website. It's johnknoxvillage.com. Check it out. It's an amazing website. Um, you have so much going on there at the uh, community, 
and um, there's just a, a lot to do. There's even a community tab you can click on and get a whole bunch of information and events and whatnot. Yeah, we, we really are also involved in the community. And, and one of the cool things that where I was talking about earlier, how they were involved in the evolution of the woodlands and the greenhouse project is the, we have over 400 of our just under, a th we have just under 1,000 residents that live there. Mm -hmm. Over 400 of them, almost half, volunteer in some capacity. We're the only, one of the only retirement communities in the state of Florida where we have three of our independent living residents are on the board of directors. So again, they truly have a voice. They're involved. We're very involved with the city of Pompano Beach. You know, it's funny. I just, I just turned uh, 55 last month and someone said, oh, you're getting old. I said, I hang around with people that are in their 80s, 90s, and over 100 and stay active. You know, that's inspiring. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not yeah. feeling old whatsoever. It's a, uh, it's a nice place to be. It really is. I feel very blessed that I actually work there. And when I come through the gates, I'm in their home. And we, you know, we share that with our caregivers. We have over 500 plus employees, full time and part time, between our plant operations and, and maintenance and dining services. And of course, in our healthcare setting in the woodlands, nurses and we have this role called a Shabazz, uh -huh. and that's Dr. Thomas's term. Shabazz is a, a Persian term for a king's falcon, one who nurtures. Mm. And a Shabazz in a greenhouse home is a certified nursing assistant. They still have to have that certification. However, they go through additional training at John Knox Village to become a Shabazz. Uh, 40 hours of the greenhouse training of core training, what it's like to, and meaningful life, real home, staff empowerment. So that additional training, and, the, and when they're in the home, they cook, they care, they clean, they do it all. And they, we have them working in one home where they build relationships and they get to know the elders. It's all about relationships and teamwork. And that, again, that takes away some of that loneliness and helplessness and, and you know, when eventually somebody sometimes will pass away, they, they, they're they upset. They, they build those relationships and, and they bond with them. So, um, it's as I said, it's a special place. Yeah, making those connections in life, I mean, that's important to living a, you know, a healthy life as well. We're going to take a quick break, and on the other side, we're going to talk um, to Mark Rayner about uh, the support and rehabilitation services at John Knox Village on the How to Stay Healthy show. County Healthcare, Inc. is locally owned and operated, serving the Tri-County area, Palm Beach, Dade, and Broward counties for the last 25 years. The practice of medicine is changing dramatically. All County Healthcare, Inc. still does it the old-fashioned way, where our nurses and healthcare professionals come into your home to service your medical needs, providing you the fastest and best care possible. For more information, call 954-717-7027. And remember, Medicare Home Care is covered by Part A of Medicare with no out-of-pocket cost to you. It's your decision and only your decision on what health care agency you use. Call today, All County Home Health Care, Inc. at 954-717-7027. License 2009096. How to Stay Healthy. It's a question asked by many people and answered by few. On How to Stay Healthy with David DePino. I'm going to bring you the latest in health news by interviewing top doctors from South Florida and around the world. Tune in on Fridays at 5.30 p.m. right here on WWNN Radio 95.3 FM and 1470 AM, the Health and Wealth Network, to hear the latest health treatments and my curveball question of the hobbies and passions in life doctors pursue when not providing medicine. And now back to How to Stay Healthy, your weekly doctor's interview and prescription to better health. And we're back with Mark Rayner. He's a director at John Knox Village. So it's johnknoxvillage.com. We're talking about this great community in Pompano Beach and, and beyond. Um, some great projects going on, the Greenhouse Project that we just chatted about. Mark, I wanted to ask you a little bit about um, the rehabilitation services and support on site at, at the Woodlands. Great. So um, one of the neat things about a greenhouse home and we're actually only the second greenhouse project 
to begin doing short-term rehabilitation because it's the primary model was was founded around long-term care for the elders and they would live there for the rest of their lives versus the rehab piece so they started doing that up in um, Boston Massachusetts and we went up and said wow this is a great concept let's do that for our residents because at any given time some of our residents need short-term rehab how can we partner with the community how can we let them be a part of John Knox Village and also provide rehab for the area so a lot of times rehab you go to the gym you're lifting weights what we do in the woodlands at John Knox Village is what we call functional rehab so maybe the biggest thing that you need help with in addition to balance and strengthening is through physical therapy and our therapy team or occupational therapy typically physical therapy focuses more on the lower extremities and walking and balance occupational therapy is more the upper extremities and transferring yourself maybe being able to eat or perhaps someone had a stroke right they mm -hmm. may need speech therapy so physical therapy occupational speech therapy all those things we provide in a home setting and it's what we call functional rehab so how do I get out of the bed and get to the bathroom when I go back home that's what I need to do perhaps I've had a shoulder injury I don't want to put that gallon of milk on the top shelf and stretch my shoulder out. So they actually work in our kitchen right there in the home. How do I get from the toilet to the shower? We help them get back to that prior level of care. And a statistic that I'm really proud of is in traditional rehab centers, and actually we've got a great rehab partner in TMC, across the nation and all their other communities um, in about 42 states, they average 60% of their rehab guests are able to go back to their prior level of functioning, where they were before whatever the event happened, the stroke, the fall, whatever it was. We're averaging 84% of our rehab folks are back to that prior level. That's so great. You know, so that's, that's showing that the model works. So why, why else does it work? We're doing the rehab piece, and I've been in the industry uh, for about 25 years. And the therapists, 99 times out of 100, always do an amazing job. So what sets you apart from the next place? Well, again, that private room. I don't have a roommate who maybe is going to have the TV on loud late at night or wants the room colder than I do. I can have my room as warm or as cool as I want. I have my own TV. I turn it off when I want. I have a beautiful, at the John Knox I have a beautiful 42-inch wide tempur bed, private shower, meals made from scratch that's one of the really cool things is there's no tray line no trays no steam tables the meals are made from scratch in the homes by the caregivers you want chicken marsala you want a protein shake you want a salad 24 hours a day it's not graham crackers at three o'clock in the morning they'll make your grilled cheese they'll make your pancakes if you are sleeping better mm -hmm. if you are eating better you're going to do better in your rehab and your outcome. So that's one of the cool things that we're real proud of at John Knox Village. Wow, that's great. And we talk a lot about doctors on this show. So there's obviously um, a doctor on site who does rounds or that is, um, I guess, assigned to John Knox Village. Great question. Uh, we have multiple physicians. So oh, if multiple. You, yes. If wow. you have, and if your doctor is willing to come and visit you there while you're there for short-term rehab, they certainly are welcome to do that. The 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 rehab guests and our elders and residents always have a choice. Many times the physicians, it's not worth their time to come out. So they'll say, okay, let your rehab medical director be the physician that will oversee our care. So we do have, we have a medical director who oversees our entire rehab program. We have a director of rehab and they and the, the therapists work together for the therapy component. We have a uh, director of nursing who focuses just on our four rehab homes. So we have four homes of the 12 for up to 48 rehab guests, and we actually go into some of the other homes because we've, we've become so popular. So at any given time, we have 50 short-term rehab guests. And, of course, they come and they go 7 days, 10 days, 14 days. So with that turnover, there's always availability for somebody who has Medicare insurance and wants to come in mm -hmm. for some short-term rehab. That's great to hear as well. Now, um, what what are the um, options for someone who is um, going to live there full time? Is there do any insurances pick that up? What's kind of the cost that goes along with that as well? Sure. So, so again, uh, 
probably the majority of our folks are our life plan residents that live there and they transition into the woodlands when they need it. However, if you are not already a, a resident of John Knox Village and you wanted to come in and you needed care, it's $450 a day. Mm -hmm. So we are definitely not the, the lowest price in town, but we are the best and we provide VIP concierge services. That's great to hear. And again, it's johnknoxvillage.com is the website. Um, great website. There's a ton of info on there as well. Um, the number is, and I'm looking for here, oh, I got it right here. It is 954-783-4000 is the main that, number. That's the main number to John Knox Village or for the Woodlands. It's 954-247-4000. Oh, fantastic. So, I'm sorry. 954-247-5800. I'll give that again at, uh, at the end of the program here. Now, um, going back to uh, the doctors doing rounds, and you said you have a, a, a team of physicians who, who uh, work with you, and as well, if someone really wanted to have their own physician there, they could um, that, that could be fine as well. Now, those uh, your team of physicians obviously uh, you know, report back to the, the um, individual's primary care or whatever physician as well. So that's great because there's always a team-centered approach. The more I talk to doctors on this show, I really, Absolutely. I really see that. Yes. So that's yeah, that's very true. That's great news. Yeah. What kind of ailments um, do you see in in that in that type of um, age range? Is there a lot of COPD, which we talk about on this show, um, diabetes? Um, obviously, um, older Americans. A lot of them have cardiologists. Some of them have neurologists. What kind of ailments are, are, are common today? You're definitely touching on some of those, and, and we actually specialize in uh, elders that, that have a COPD in our short-term rehab, and that's a, it's a real tough one because, you know, anytime that someone is struggling with their breathing, it creates a lot of stress and anxiety. We have a pain management physician that works very closely in our short-term rehab area. Someone can come in for a fractured hip or perhaps a stroke, Perhaps they had a heart attack. Uh, you're finding a lot of the elective surgeries, as say a knee replacement, if they don't have a support system at home and they maybe need to be non-weight bearing for a short period of time, they'll come in. But a lot of those surgeries, as a, a, are those folks now, the doctors want them up and at them two hours post-surgery, and, and then a lot, many times they'll go home. Um, but it runs the gamut on the amount of, there's no limitation on the, the care that we are willing to provide. That's great news as well. And again, it's johnknoxvillage.com is, is the website. Now, I wanted to also um, ask you um, a little bit about, um, a little bit more about the on-site and amenities. I'm kind of looking on the website as we go along. There's a life enrichment center. There's a chapel. There's an outside patio gazebo and spa and salon. It just goes off a cafe, a Palm Bistro cafe as well as that that's just at the woodlands itself right so our community has many dining venues uh, we also have a, a, a large recreation area and pool and many amenities for our independent living residents one of the the things that we realized when we were building the woodlands what about the first floor common area should we develop an area that could almost be a hub of our community and could be a, additional services for those that either live there permanently or for short-term rehab. So we have a dining venue called the Palm Bistro. It's uh, similar to a Panera Bread. Healthy soups and salads and sandwiches uh, for lunch in the afternoon. We serve breakfast and then at night, we dim the lights a little bit and they serve filet mignon and steak and very oh, different, wow. different fish dishes. Uh, the Life Enrichment Center is an area where we do marketing events, Mm -hmm. And we'll do uh, activities for our residents. We'll have entertainment. We'll come in. Um, those are just, and, and then our wellness studio where there's additional exercise. So the Rejuvenate Salon. Now, you've been in the hospital. You just come in. You're not feeling well. The ladies love to get their hair done, get a manicure, a pedicure. They can come down and do that and escape from the daily routine and make them feel good again. That's great. And we're here with Mark Rayner. He's a director at John Knox Village. It's johnknoxvillage.com, and the number is, for the general information, is 954-783-4000. And for the Woodlands is 954-247-5800.
And all that's on the website. Again, it's johnknoxvillage.com. Now, uh, Mark, this has been a great discussion as well. What are your hobbies and passions in life outside of being a director? Do you have any? Oh, I do. I do. Thanks. <laughs> I do have a little bit of time. I'm uh, blessed, very close with my two kids. Uh, my daughter's going to be a freshman at Nova Southeastern University and uh, going to pre, uh, pre-dental and biology. So she's wow. A, yeah, my wife is a neonatal intensive care unit nurse, so we've got a medical uh, in our blood, I would say. And uh, I enjoy coaching youth sports, and I do a lot with the Miracle League of Palm Beach County for yeah. uh, children with special needs. We do a baseball league up there in Delray Beach on Saturday. So Yeah, Miller Park. Yes. I've you seen it. I know yeah. Julie Cadell. Julie so. Cadell is a great <laughs> gal. We've <laughs> known her for years. That's Good that's people. Cool Small connection. world we live in, my friend. Well, we'll have to have you back on the show. This has been great discussion. Again, it's johnknoxvillage.com, 954-783-4000. And the Woodlands that we're talking a lot about is 954 954- Two four seven fifty eight hundred. Have a good night, and thank you for listening to How to Stay Healthy Show. For a prescription to better health from the top doctors in the medical fields of cardiology, neurology, orthopedics, sports medicine, and primary care, join us each week on the How to Stay Healthy Show. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored...